What's up squad? It's your squid. You've landed on my channel, Anxious Squid Productions, and this video is brought to you by Milkman Grooming. If you want your beard to look, feel, and smell as good as mine, then use Milkman Grooming products. I promise you it feels amazing and it smells amazing and I've tried a lot of beard products on the market and these guys legitimately are the best. I'm not just saying it because I get a kickback if you use my link and my code and all that sort of stuff. I genuinely have been a, a consumer of these guys products for about two years now and, and I, you know, love them. So that's why I'm an affiliate of theirs. I reckon you should check it out. Click the link in my description. If you have a beard, it is well worth it. Use the code SQUID, you'll get 15% off. But yeah, as, as you all know, I am an American immigrant who grew up in Australia, and uh, I haven't really been into motorsport all that much across my lifetime. My family has been, though. My, my old man uh, my old man is massive into motorsport. He loves it. He suggested this video in particular. His old man was a... He, he raced sedans on dirt tracks, uh, and he was a relatively successful one, won some championships and all that sort of stuff as well. So, like, he's a... He, it, it's sort of in my blood, but it's sort of not in my blood all at the same time. And uh, he suggested I, I show you guys this, right? Because Bathurst is is sort of the equivalent of like Talladega or Daytona or something like that. Like it's the race of the on the calendar in Australia. You know what I mean? Everyone, even people who don't pay attention to motorsport, will watch the Bathurst One Thousand, right? And so this video is going to be on Daryl Waltrip. Waltrip. I don't know. Anyway, he's a three-time NASCAR. Uh, champion, and these were his hot laps at the Bathurst track in Australia. So, I've blabbed heaps, but let's get into it, shall we? As always, guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video and deciding to give it a watch. Uh, um, I'm going to get into this. I think I gave all the backstory before the title and everything like that. But if you enjoy the video, please hit the subscribe button. Let's do so this. So many people, you know, have tried to put a lap into words around here. We've got a special guest at the mountain this weekend. Three-time NASCAR champion Daryl Waltrip is here. He's also doing, of course, commentary straight back to the US of A. He went for a ride with Jason Bright. And as you're about cool. to see, he was not lost for words. Geological oddity. This is crazy. What was that? Sticking? This is the coldest thing I've ever done. Oh god, we left the ground again. <laughs> oh no. I give out. My arms are broken. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, hang on, Jason. I can't even see where we're going and he ain't slowing down. Oh my gosh. Oh, He's taking it easy too. The old dipper. That's a very famous corner, that one. <laughs> Sorry if you heard all that, that's uh, upstairs deciding to, I don't know, breed some elephants or something, so sorry if you heard all that, but we're going to go back. Superman. <laughs> <laughs> to put it in perspective. 
perspective. I mean, Daryl's to us a Peter Brock or Dick Johnson in their own country. And uh, yeah, absolutely. Race, I'm really interested to hear your perspective of the V8 supercar. You've driven it all. You've won 84 NASCAR races, three titles. What do you think about our Jiggers? I, I love these cars. I, I, Marcus Ambrose came to America to race, and when I saw Marcus race on the uh, road course, I said, "This dude is. He's one of the best. Maybe the best I've ever seen in a stock car on the road course." I said, I, "I'd like to see where he came from. I'd like to meet some of the guys he raced with." And so the opportunity to come here to Bathurst, which this race in the mm, rest that's, a, that's a bugbear. Like, there's a lot of people in Australia as well that call Bathurst Bathurst. There's only one H. It's part of the TH for Bath. It's Bathurst Bathurst. The H is already used. It's it's it's. If you were going to pronounce the hard H, it would be Bathurst, not Bathurst. You, you're adding an H, guys. But. 100%, that's some knob that has told him to say it, Bathurst. That's not him just assuming, you know what I mean? Like, that's it's a small bugbear on Australian vernacular, but it is what it is. All over the world, this is one of the biggest races you'll ever go to. This racetrack, television doesn't do it justice. You don't see the elevation changes. You don't yeah, see you how can't, like, it is, there are some parts of the track that are no shit. Like, that, that corner that I said was super famous, as they come down like that, like that is that is super banked, you know what I mean? Like anyway. How blindingly quick you come down the Conrad straightaway into the chase right here. Yeah, Conrad I mean, does always right. Racetrack. And you the guys that do well here, there's one reason why they do well here. They respect this joint. And you better have that in your mind when you start the race. Well you've actually told us well we've got some verbiage from you that we've never heard before. <laughs> well, you've told us stuff <laughs> oh, about really? the track that we didn't know. Uh, well let's just run through a couple sure. of the key items now. Uh -huh. I'd love to go through uh, this is a geological oddity. <laughs> it's just I, of course I'm in another part of the world, so geologically I don't know where I am, but if I had to go around this track I would say I was lost. <laughs> I, I, I was going or what I was doing. I hate the corkscrew. The corkscrew is dumb. Oh my I mean, God. Corkscrews in Laguna Seca. In America. I, I, well I know it is. <laughs> but you know, you call it the dipper, I call it the corkscrew. I always wondered, I've never been to Laguna Seca to do the corkscrew. I always wondered, wonder what that feels like. I now know. <laughs> no, no, no. That's another corner. That's over here. I forgot. Hell corner. Yeah, it's over here. my favorite. I just lost my last <laughs> Again, I was, I was so surprised. I walked around and, and I talked to Kim and Brad Jones. You know, they're buddies of mine from, they've been to America a few times. And I talked to them and I looked old Jason over and I said, solid lad. He ought to have a good head on his shoulders, and really and truly, I thought we were just going for a little ride. <laughs> <laughs> and he just flamed him around on a hot lap. That's mad. I'm going to tell you what a dude is, and I'm going to tell you what a hoon is. <laughs> oh, a hoon! I already know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is fantastic. I, it, it was the day Talladega Nights came to Mount Panorama. We're going we're we're to scrape it all the way back, and we're going to watch the hot lap without me talking right, over it, all right? Let's do it again. Mountain this weekend, three-time NASCAR champion Daryl Waltrip is here. He's also doing, of course, commentary straight back to the US of A. He went for a ride with Jason Bright, and as you're about to see, he was not lost for words. Awesome. All right. 
I'm glad I watched that. Thank you to the one person in my comments section who I've forgotten the name of who suggested I watch that. And thank you to my old man who also suggested I watch that. And thank you to everyone who's watched it and enjoyed it because, yeah, that was awesome. I'll have to look into some Daryl Waltrip uh, highlights from NASCAR to see how he goes and all that sort of stuff. I fucking love him. He's a good personality. That's mad. Uh, um... That was cool to watch. But yeah, let me know if you want to see some more supercars highlights and all that if you're a NASCAR fan. I'm going to, like, I literally, I'm, I'm falling in love with motorsport more and more by the day. If you're, if you're a motorsport fan, I've got a playlist of motorsport reaction videos. Check them out. There's a whole bunch of crash content in there as well, which is, you know, obviously a favourite from the views that I've been seeing on it anyway. And, uh, and yeah, that was special. That was really cool. I'm excited that I watched that. I'm excited to watch more motorsport. Let me know what you think I should in the comments section below. These guys are my patrons. They're amazing. They're the wind beneath my wings. They're the duck's nuts. They're the bee's knees. They're the, the other cliches and stuff like that. They're amazing. You could be amazing too. Please join my Patreon if you can. But if you don't want to do that and you do have a beard or someone you know has a beard, check out Milkman Grooming Products because they're amazing. And if you click the link in my description uh, and then go through and use the code SQUID, uh, you'll get 15% off at the checkout and it is well worth it. Let me tell you, my beard is only as good as it is because of the Milkman, you know what I mean? And so I can't really vouch for it any higher than I have. Get into them and they'll get into you and your people will get into your beard and your beard will get out of you, you know what I mean? So yeah, um... I'm going to start editing videos and stop filming them and all that sort of stuff now and upload video after video after video. Hopefully this one's not getting uploaded at like 1am or whatever because it's already 6.30 in the evening, but we'll see how we go. I'm on a bit of a late schedule today. Uh, as I always say, if you want me to watch something in particular next, spam me in the comments section. If you don't mind, just smash that like button. Do me a favour, try and get this video into in front of as many eyeballs as possible. Hit that subscribe if you are not already, if you haven't already. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of this year. This year's 2020, if you're watching it in the future. If you're looking, I'm already past 5K and it's already past 2020. Just assume I have another goal uh, with another time frame and hit the subscribe button for me because, you know, that's the whole point of YouTube. I want you and you, hopefully, like me. So... Yeah, I'll see you guys when I look at you. You'll see me when you look at me. Thanks for watching.